myself Ajipal Singh Siddhu from Electronics and Computer Branch. We are working on the project named FPG based UAV flight controller with power down scheme. Hello, my name is Riddhi Kapila and my branch is Electronics and Computers. My name is Palak and my branch is Electronics and Communication Engineering. My name is Bhavya Dutta and I am from Electronics and Computer Engineering. I am Pallavi Sari and my branch is Electronics and Communication. Initially, we test the PID algorithm which is used to maintain stability by applying a disk balance in one of the arm in order to check if it returns to its initial position. We then checked the PWM modulation between RC transmitter and its receiver by monitoring it on DSO. We are measuring voltage of the drone battery using a voltage divider circuit with ESP32 microcontroller and then we can further monitor it in the real time using the Blink application on our mobile phone. As you can see, we have used MPU6050 sensor for reading the acceleration and velocity. It has its 5 pins connected which are VCC, ground, serial clock, serial data and interrupt. It gets its power supply from the power distribution board which further gets its power supply from ESCs connected with the battery. The power distribution board provides supply to camera and ESP32 module along with which it has the power supply to FPGA and RC receiver. Next we have the camera module OV7670 integrated with the ESP32 microcontroller which again gets its power from the power distribution board. The camera circuit is placed at the front side of our drone in order to capture images and recordings and send it to the laptop or phone through ESP's Wi-Fi module. We finally need to make the connections of our hardware peripherals with the FPGA flight controller which includes connections with RC receiver, MPU6050, ESC's signal pins and its external power supply is given through VN and ground connected with the power distribution board. You can see the voltage divider circuit connected with the ESP32 microcontroller so that we can monitor the battery. 